Nah, bro, I hate clubs. And then uh, I'll just keep it a thousand with you. Like, I heard, like Fresh did like a story, and I heard like Jamaican music. I saw a bunch of black people. I was like, no, thank you. Oh, you wanted to go to a white club, bro? I don't go where, uh, bro. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to a place where there's a bunch of <laughs> Miami, Florida, where he lives. Yes. A lot of let me just say, uh, brothers from Haiti, brothers from Jamaica, and so those people are deep out there, right? Because it's you know very close to where you know their home country is, and they've been there for years. And to be honest, when I see the brothers from those communities, I never see them um, having so much of a problem. But you know, let me just say, like Fresh and Fit Online, or even the black content creators, those dudes never come for us. In fact, a lot of brothers go through the same things that we go through. And there's really no issue, so there's no real reason to take shots at the Caribbean community. It's pointless. Especially when, in the case of Fresh and Fit, these are the guys that first helped you build your company. I forgot the one brother that was, um, you know, getting all of the chicks there for him that he fell out with. You know, he had the other brother, I believe his name was RJ. He was the photographer. Now, his own sound producer is a brother from Haiti. So again, these are the black men that have helped you build, you know, fresh and fit. It wasn't the white dudes. And even before that, brothers like Kevin Samuels, who came out there for free, and a lot of the early dating guys that came out were black, all right? So a lot of success of Fresh and Fit podcast happens to be because the blacks helped you with at least the concept development and helping you get on. But what thanks does he give to those people that have helped him, all right? I want you to hear what he has to say about this community here of Jamaicans. Exactly. You exactly. the club then? Nah, bro, I hate clubs. And then uh, I'll just keep it a thousand with you. Like, I heard, like Fresh did like a story and I heard like Jamaican music. I saw a bunch of black people. I was like, no, thank you. Oh, you wanted to go to a white club? Bro, I don't go where, uh, bro, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to a place where there's a bunch of. <laughs> what, what type of I'm, I go to? I'm going where they're playing fucking some 41 and some fucking Bon Jovi, bro. That's where I'm going. I'm not going bon nowhere. Bon Jovi? Where yes, bro. Cause I don't gotta what worry about that. that. It's a bar, like a dive bar, or some shit. I'm not going to no club where they're playing Rasta music, bro. I'm good. That yeah. hell. Bro, bro. You're, you're trying to go to a square dance. I'd rather go to that. I don't gotta worry about getting stabbed or shot. Shit. Anyway, you know I'm right, bro. Don't try to act like you ain't racist in here. Like, uh, come on, man. You racist? No, just but like, like, who wants to go to a white club? I'm not. <laughs> when I'm going out, I'm not gonna go. I don't want to listen to Taylor Swift or Bon Jovi. Oh, what? You'd rather go to a Jamaican sweat fest where? Doing WWE moves on each other. F that I'm good. I'm not trying to listen. Well, I gotta to be the club days, the Jamaican thing. I'll, I'll take that any day over Duran Duran and the Beatles. Man, f out here. you're just saying that because you're a dirty dog eating. That's why you're saying that shit. But bro, anyway, you're a Sudanese sand. Bro, you look at your profile picture. You look like Obama. You're black too, bro. Am I? Apparently, I'm not. According to the blacks, Sudan means black in Arabic. Bro, I, that's what I be telling them, but they still say I'm not black. Bro, you, you look like Obama in 2007 in that part. You look like hope. A change is here. Yeah, and the, and the change is I'm not going to know. Anyway, so what I'm saying is, right? <laughs> <laughs> so now he's talking to Sneeko. So he's telling Sneeko, listen, man, I will never in my life go to a Jamaican club. When I hear Jamaican music, I leave. And Sneeko was like, well, why, man? You know, you don't think that it's lit? And he was like, I don't want to. It kind of made me chuckle a little bit because, you know, yeah, Jamaican brothers, they do. Um, some excessive moves when they are on the dance floor, right? Give it to them. They are a little bit about it, about it out there with it, right? Um, but still, to downplay them as if they some suckers, that's not cool, right? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this person has just realized that he cannot do without Jamaicans. He needs Jamaicans more than Jamaicans needs him. In as much as he might dislike Jamaicans, he cannot do without Jamaicans in Florida. And that is what is really aching him up. That is what is really annoying him so much. Okay? He does not like Jamaicans, but he cannot survive without them. Literally speaking, Jamaicans are bringing life to his businesses. Without Jamaicans, he will not survive. And if Jamaicans today, they decide that they are going to boycott his businesses, I'm telling you, he's going to go break. He's going to go broke very fast. You see, the universe has fixed him very well. Hmm? In as much as he sounds so toxic, in as much as he's very toxic towards Jamaicans. But the universe is always on the side of Jamaicans. 
<laughs> the universe has fixed him in a way that he will always need Jamaicans. Eh? Whatever he does, he will always need Jamaicans. And he's also a real estate mogul. Hmm? That means all the businesses, all the homes, he has always been selling to Jamaicans in Florida. Yes, in Florida. Florida is Jamaica and Jamaica is Florida. There are so many Jamaicans in Florida. Hey, that's why I'm telling you. I know what I'm talking about. Hey, so if you're coming to Jamaica and you believe or you think that you, if you're coming to Florida and you believe or you think that you cannot do away with Jamaicans, think again. Rethink again. Because that is another small Jamaica. <laughs> Just like the way, <clears throat> same, same guy, Myron Gaines, he's operating a podcast. It's called Fresh and Fit Podcast. That post podcast would never be have alive if Jamaicans were not involved. If Jamaicans were not involved, that Fresh and Fit Podcast would never be there. It will not be there. Hmm? But this is the thank. This is the gratitude that you are showing Jamaicans. Really. This is the this is literally the gratitude that you are showing to Jamaicans. This is the acknowledgement that you are really acknowledging Jamaicans for. In as much as they have really helped you. And they are still continuing to help you. Hmm? Yeah, the reason why you have not gone homeless is because of Jamaicans. Believe it or not. <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't know why who advised him to pick a fight with Jamaicans online because it is not good. When you go to an interview eh, and, and, and someone is trying to fix you up in a fight with Jamaicans, please avoid, avoid that discussion and jump into another discussion because that war you have already lost it before you can even begin. Hmm? They are very nice people. They are very helpful people. But please, picking a fight or picking an online fight with Jamaicans is something that you really don't want to do. Hmm? Even in your dreams, you cannot win online war with Jamaicans. Even in a dream, you can't. Ask your predecessors. Ask those people who have been there before what really happened. Hmm? They were forced to, to apologize. Huh? <laughs> uh, these they are very confident. Very nice people. Very welcoming. But you don't want to mess around with them. Hmm? Ladies and gentlemen. Huh? And you know, let me tell you something else. Very soon, a Jamaican is going to hold the highest office in America. Very soon, you're going to have a Jamaican as a president. Literally speaking, a Jamaica is going to lead your head. <laughs> I've just told you here that the universe will fix you. And it's already fixing you up. Hmm? Kamala Harris, she's going to be your president, whether you like it or not. Kamala Harris is going to be your president. And guess what? Harris is a Jamaican name. Harris is a Jamaican name. You see how things are unfolding right before your eyes? You see how the universe is fixing you up? Hmm? Because you cannot do well. you cannot do without a government. You need a government at the end of the day. And who will be in charge of the government? Kamala Harris. And the nationality of Kamala Harris? A Jamaican. What is the universe telling you about? Please, choose your conflict wisely. Hmm? Choose your conflict wisely. Jamaicans are very good at what they do. Hmm? They are very good at what they do. That's why look, look at Usain Bolt. Hmm? Usain Bolt is a scientific study. Usain Bolt is so good at what he does. To an extent that even scientists right now, they are putting spectacles and writing books and researching. Eh? He's a scientific start because nobody nobody has broken the record of 9.58 seconds up to today. Nobody. Eh? <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, I've just remembered a specific clip or a specific video of a Briton who was stuck in UK. And he became homeless. He's a white Briton. Okay. Unfortunately, people from his own race did not help him out. People of his own kind did not come out and help him out. It is Jamaicans who came and supported this guy. It is Jamaicans who have always been feeding this guy. Hmm? They are good spirited people. They are very kind people. Hospitable people. 
it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter where you are coming from mm? and that is why majority of people are now flocking to their country mm? looking for spouses others are coming from europe others are coming from you know russia looking for spouses in in jamaica and i don't know why kenyans are not also doing the same as kenyans we also need to have confidence please let's believe in ourselves let's also go to jamaica and look for spouses <laughs> that is just by the way hmm? ladies and gentlemen so i don't know why someone will will come to a live show and decide to say all these bad things eh, about jamaicans hmm? after helping him out my own gains after what jamaicans have done for you all the positive things this is what you repay them with eh? <laughs> that is not good that is not fair at all Hmm? Ladies and gentlemen, hmm? I have seen a few clips of Jamaican roads. They are all tarmacked. They are all tarmac, tarmacked. In as much as people are accusing Andrew Holness of what he has not done, but what he has done is giving out Jamaicans good roads. Something that even our very own Kenyan president should be able to pick up from. Yeah? Should learn from that. All Jamaican roads, 90% of Jamaican roads is tarmacked. Can you imagine that? You know, in Africa, it's not easy to find 90% of the roads being tarmacked. It is not quite easy. But for Jamaicans, the road is just smooth. That is so nice. Mm? that is very very nice mm. at least one po that's something positive i can say that actually andrew honest has really tried mm? i don't know i don't know so much i don't know other things but one thing i noticed is the tarmac road now let's go back to my road gains my road gains said something about jamaican music jamaican music is revolutionary reggae music is revolutionary let me be specific you stand up get up don't give up the fight it is revolutionary hmm? when a country is about to go on a revolution it is jamaican music that is sung please give respect to jamaican music hmm? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Brit that I was talking about. Huh? People from his own kind did not come to support him. They did not come to feed him. It is Jamaicans who literally came and cooked food for him and gave him food. Hmm? Humanity humans we are all humans at the end of the day there is humanity in jamaicans mm? and that is why the universe sometimes favors jamaicans a lot mm? they understand nobody nobody wakes up and say ah, today i want to become homeless nobody prays wakes up and prays to god god please make me homeless nobody has ever done huh? Ladies and gentlemen, and you dare disrespect these guys. Hmm? Literally cooking for someone who is not even their own race. But they have looked at him as another human being who needs help, who desires help, just like everybody or anyone else. Hmm? If 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 you know if if Jamaicans, if everyone in the world was like Jamaicans, as kind as jamaicans they were do you know that you will not even need to buy anything in the shop <laughs> think at, think at it think at it deeply enough you will not need to buy anything in the shop there will be no world wars if everyone emulated the spirit of i and i there will be no world war hmm? because jamaicans believe in the spirit of i and i my problems are your problems my blessings are your blessings that's how things should run. Yes. Huh? <laughs> I think I'm a white man. You think? Yeah. No. Do you believe? I believe I am a white man. 
don't you know that belief is a doubt? How is belief a doubt? Eh? How is belief because a doubt? Because you cannot believe something and know it. If wait, you take Allah. Wait, my poor brain, wait. Hang on, hang on. I cannot believe it and know it. No. And you can only believe in what you don't know. I like that. You can only believe in what you don't you know. You don't know. That's why you have to believe it. Yes. Ah. Now, do you believe in your mother and father? No, I know my mother and father. Yeah. So, but you might believe in Jesus. I might believe in Jesus. Because you don't know Jesus. Because I've never met him. you can only believe in what you don't know. True. So, it, so it, know that belief is a doubt. Believe. Now, do you know that you are a white man? If you know that you are white, explain to me how you know this. Okay. Um... My mother is Portuguese and she's white. My father is Scottish with blonde and blue eyes. And you reckon they are white? I reckon. All right. Yeah, right. Listen, listen to this conversation. Go on, yeah? go on, you tell. If I get water, yeah, yeah, it's quite simple, isn't it? Yeah. I get a black can, yeah, a white one, yeah, a blue one and a yellow one, and I fill them with water and seal them. Yeah, okay. When you look, would you see the water? Uh, you can't see the water at all. What would you see? Nothing, just the white the, or the black. You would see the different colors. The different colors. And if you trust those eyes of yours, yeah. you're going to believe that they're different, aren't you? I will believe it. Until you go and fucking taste them. Correct. And what are you going to discover? That it's all just water. All one. One missing diversity, we call it. Yeah. Now you see all these human beings that you see. Yeah. Who believe that they are Japanese, Chinese, blacks and whites. Yeah. They are the same. And if you go to any one of them, excuse me, sir, what color is your mind? You see, you hear what he said? He doesn't know what color his mind no. is. No, go and ask a Japanese, he don't know either. No. Because we are spirits <laughs> living in different color physical bodies. We are not our bodies. When you look with the eyes, you are not seeing me, you are seeing the body. Just like I tell you, when you look at the tins of tins, you won't see the water, will you? No. It's so, a, you look at my body and say, I'm a black man. That is a program. You was programmed from birth, yeah? To believe that you are blacks and whites. But you fuck all like that. You're just a spirit in a body full of the same stinking shit. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. <laughs>